You're listening to the start of your NFL week. You're listening to the Opening Whistle Radio Show. Right here on MetsonRadio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Albert Albany and Avi Shipman. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Opening Whistle Radio Show right here on MessonRadio.com. I'm your host, Albert Albanese. I'm Avi Schiffman. And guys, I'm back after a week off of being live at Raw 25, having a really good time. I'm back, but luckily for me, I had Avi here to uh, hold down the fort, and uh, Avi did a, a tremendous job. Thank you, Albert. I missed you. I miss I missed you How too. How was it? How was Raw? Uh, it was it was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. It was it was a really good time. Yeah. I um, bet you the the fans in Philly last week were crazier than the fans at Raw. I can guarantee you that. Uh, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so th- actually, it's funny. Uh, f- the Royal Rumble this weekend. The, uh, if you, uh, any of you guys are wrestling fans, was in Philadelphia, um, and I was hoping to see a full uh, Philadelphia city meltdown, just because <laughs> I think it would just been funny. Yeah. I mean, I mean, look, you know, uh, you know, Avi, you you ranted about the Philly fans last week, and you know, I, I think that's something we want to dig. I want to just get your uh, kind of have you go over again, but real quick, guys, please, you know, this is the Super Bowl show. You know, we're previewing the you know the big game. It's coming up on Sunday. This is the you know the holy grail for all of us football fans. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know who you think is going to win. Let us let us know you know anything you want to talk about anything. in the realm of football. Anything, anything at all. Anything. According to Avi, we're we're talking about anything at all today. Anything. So uh, give us a call. It's six zero nine nine one zero zero six eight seven. Call in and you know, fine, Avi. Let's do it. Talk about it, whatever you want. Why not? You know, it's going to be a fun show today. It's going to be fun. Um. So yeah, let's um. Let's go. Let's go back about the uh, the Philly fans. Um, you know, uh, look, I, I, I'm I'm a big sports fan. Uh, I'm a big wrestling fan too. Uh, the Philly fans always seem to be the most raucous uh, crowd, in, you know, out there at uh, all together. Um, you know, we we can talk about how like if you guys are wrestling fans, the foundations of a wrestling company called ECW was in Philly, and that is the most hardcore wrestling organization that you know in pretty much in the Northeast. Uh, especially at that time. So you can tell that the, those fans were bloodthirsty and it translates over to the football field. So, you know, on uh, you know on the basketball court, you know, on the ice, you know, no matter what if there is a Philadelphia team on the baseball field, the Philly fans are always known for being this big raucous crowd and kind of a bunch of jerks. Yeah. Well, if if you uh, happen to listen, I went on a whole rant about them. We might have differing opinions about them, but basically, you know, I, I said they were they were out of line last week. I, I agree. Out of line. It, it's too much. It's too I, much. Look, you know, here's my big thing about it. I, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and say that. You know, oh wait, hold on. I'm. I'm not going to sit here and say anything because we actually have a phone call nice. already. Fantastic, man. I, I like the early phone calls. Hey, caller, what's up? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Ari from London. How are you? I'm doing all right, man. What's up, How's Ari? How are you going? Pretty good. Pretty good. We uh, we missed you last week. Thank uh, you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah but both you. you and the Cowboys were absent last week. <laughs> so, you know. It took him, it took him all day to write up that joke. I bet you. Yeah. No, I don't know. It did. I, 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 I kind of yeah. think that was right off the top of his head. No, right he was now. sitting there with a pen, sitting there with a pen and paper all day, just not working, just just, oh, wait, just waiting to write that joke. <laughs> all right, what's on, what's on your mind? That's true. So you said talking about anything, right? Yeah. So my thought came Super Bowl Sunday. The question is: Does everyone have have an obligation to eat at least one hot dog? You know, <laughs> I don't know about that. Look, you know, um, I, 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 all right, are we talking about hot dog as in traditional hot dogs, or, or, or does like those little hors d'oeuvre, pig in a blanket hot dogs count? No, they do not. Well, no. it, uh, the little hors d'oeuvres—that's that, like twenty you're going to eat. Right? Well, no, no, he said there's no. Yeah, I guess he's asking. He's asking I would say obligation. traditional hot dog, like a Super Bowl Sunday. I don't you think know. hot. What do you think is the big? Uh, I mean. Wings for sure. Yeah, I think wings are more the more popular uh, uh, Super Bowl. But item, a hot right? dog. Listen, let's be honest. If a hot dog, I don't. If a, if a hot dog's in front of you, you're gonna eat it, right? You're gonna eat like twenty. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I'm gonna. Act, I'm actually gonna eat sixty in the first twelve minutes of the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're gonna be in front of me, I'm not gonna stop eating them. Right. Uh, yeah, I will. I will Joey Chestnut those hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> as far as it be, being an obligation, man, I don't know. I don't know if I think wings are more of an obligation. Mm. Yeah, wings. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a fair question, though. I mean, look, you know, you're making me think that wherever I go to watch the Super Bowl, I should get a hot dog. Now, I kind of feel self conscious. You should get. You should get a hot dog. <laughs> right, before Absolutely. you before you go, we got to ask our listeners a prediction. Super Bowl. 
Who's winning in the score? Oh, he wants a score, oh, too. Yeah. And the score. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb here. This is going to sound a little crazy. <laughs> I'm going to go out. Uh, I'm going to say Eagles 25-20. All right. All right. I like right. that. Wow. That's that's a good I, I like that. All right, I like that too. That's only if the Patriots don't cheat. If they cheat, <laughs> the Patriots are gonna win thirty to twenty. Oh, but if okay. they, no, there's no cheating, it's the so Eagles twenty five. They can't win without cheating. Fair enough, fair enough. That's uh, true. Okay. Uh, we're, we're gonna dig into that a little bit deeper, uh, Ari, today, because I, I I have something I gotta talk I wanna talk about when it comes to that. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks Th- for the call. Thanks for the call, man. We appreciate it. All right, it. you got it. Yep, sure. Um. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think we we, we can both pa- agree. Patriot hater. He's a patriot hater. So am I. Yeah, I know. You yeah. too. Well, we'll get into it, but yeah. Um, I think we can agree though. The Philly fans are just you know kind of like the bottom feeders of fans out there. They, they really are. Yeah, you know, and, and look, no disrespect. I know there are probably some people who may be listening that are Eagles fans. It's the same thing as you know talking about you know Yankee fans are all, are all like kind of jerks. I'm a Yankee fan. I don't consider myself to be like a jerk Yankee fan, though. Yeah, I, I just you know? don't get it. You know, listen, I understand that most of them are inebriated by uh, like 10 minutes into when they get to the stadium. And fair enough, I do not. I, I have not entered a NFL stadium uh, without being the, under the influence of at least about seven or eight beers. Oh, wow. Okay. Before, before I've gotten in there. But, I, but you I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't throw beers at people. I wouldn't throw Yeah, I wouldn't throw beers at people. I wouldn't start wouldn't. cursing out Case Keenum's no, family. No, you no. You know, I, I mean, there are certain things. You, you, you have to have a certain level of, you know, right. of couth. I made a point. Couth. Nice. Yeah. How that work? Yeah. I, I made a point that, you know, booing is acceptable. You know, yeah, booing absolutely. is fine. You see another jersey, boo, you boo them. All right, don't curse yeah. them out in front of their kids, you know. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, you got kids, you got you know people but around. They, they and, don't care. And there was you know, the, like I, I don't know if you guys you saw there was a video of a Vikings fan who gave the you know like who was leaving and he gave like three Eagles fans a hug. And was yeah, like, I like that. And I just, love that. And walked out. You know, and that's that's what great. Saying. That's that's great. being like, hey guys, you know what? You you slammed us. We got the crap kicked out of us. Good luck, man. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's, how it that's be. what it's about. That's what it's about. And the thing is, is that what gets me mad is that the the fans out there are more violent than the players on the field. They, after the games are over, yeah, you know what? They get some scrums. There's some pushing and shoving. But after the game's over, there's Burning down a, the city. Th- there's a handshake. There's a, hu- there's a bunch of hugs. And it's yeah. like, hey, good luck on the next round. Just have, some, mean, just have some class. Yeah, I, I agree. Have a little class. I agree. Um, all right. So is there something specific that you wanted to talk about, Avi? Or do you want, do you want to go into predictions? We can get into predictions right, later. Let, oh, you want to do that later? You, uh, whatever you want to do. Yeah, we can do that later. Whatever um, you want. All right. So I wanted to bring this up. So um, you know, I, I really wish I should have told him specifically to listen because I would love to see if, if, have him call in. And as a matter of fact, as I talk about this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message him uh, and let him know that I'm talking about him. So um, I have a friend named Andrew who is uh, one of my best friends. Uh, we grew up uh, together. Uh, he grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up in Staten Island. Uh, we're really good friends, and he is a diehard Patriots fan. Um, so, of course, we don't get along when it comes to sports. Uh, so he took it upon himself to send me a video today, and it was a, you know, a, a video that was put together by the, uh, an Arizona Cardinals fan. And the Arizona Cardinals fan talked about how I am an Arizona Cardinals fan I am unbi- I'm biased in, you know, in, 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 I have no bias in this situation, and the Patriots are not cheaters. And I said, okay, I'm going to watch 30 seconds of this, get mad, and turn it off. But to be fair, I watched the entire, and I want to say it's like an eight-minute video. In the eight-minute video, this man did not at once refute the fact that the Patriots really did cheat. What he refuted was the fact that whatever the Patriots cheated, somebody else did the exact same thing and just didn't get in trouble for it. Um, as far as the flate gate, they talked about the Steelers. Uh, there was a situation where their balls were deflated. Talked about how uh, other quarterbacks deflated footballs as well. And you know nobody, nobody said boo about it at all. Talked about the tuck rule and how the tuck rule was in effect before Tom Brady and how it was used against the Patriots and how other teams did it too and nobody complained. Uh, talked about Spygate, how the Jets got in trouble for that a couple years beforehand. So it wasn't the, the, the you know, and, oh, I'm sorry, and, and Refgate, talking about how, like, all those plays that, you know, the Austin Safaria Jenkins, the Kelvin Benjamin catch, those were all legitimate fumbles, and they weren't real, and, and they were the right call. It Don't hate the refs, hate the rules. Um, and then I watched that entire thing, and then myself and, and my friend Andrew decided that we were going to just just shoot barbs back at each other for the rest of the time, because... 
you know, he keeps saying that this hurts the Patriots organization. It takes away from what they've done, all their accomplishments. And I said, man, at the end of the day, you know what's going to happen in 10 years when we're talking about the Patriots dynasty of the early 2000s to the, you know, to, you know, to, you know, uh, you know, to, to where we are now. They're going to talk about the Patriots winning six Super Bowl rings. They're going to talk about their dominant offense. They're going to talk about Bill Belichick and Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady. And they're going to there's going to be a two minute mention of Spygate. And the Flate Gate and all this other kind of stuff, and it's gonna be water under the bridge. People are gonna go, yeah, well, you know, they had their problems back then, and you know, there was some stuff where you know maybe it didn't seem like they were up uh, you know, on the up and up. But you know, the big thing is that they're the most talented football team in the world with the best coach, the best quarterback of all time, and maybe the best uh, catching tight end of all time. And uh, they were a dynasty, and they had six Super Bowl rings, and they were the greatest uh, uh, team of our generation, and we saw the best players and the best coaches ever. And it's just gonna be people just basically. Patting the Patriots on the back the entire time. I wanted to use a completely different analogy for it. Um, so I, I got to ask, what's your opinion on uh, on this? Because there's really there's only two sides. I spoke I spoke about this last week. Also, listen, there are listen. There's gonna be haters. You know, everybody. There basically everybody hates the Patriots. You're not a Patriots fan. You hate the Patriots. But I'm the kind of guy that listen. I appreciate I appreciate greatness. You know, and you cannot deny the greatness of the Patriots. You can't deny it. You can't. Uh, have they done some things? Maybe to tweak the uh, maybe, but they're still going out there on the field and and beating teams. I don't believe that these things are helping them really win. The calls are helping them. The win? call, the well, the calls. It doesn't ha- listen. Anything that happens with the Patriots, you're gonna think that oh, they got the call from the ref. I, any little thing now. After after yeah, it happens a lot. But do you believe? Do you believe in all this? Like every single thing that they cheat. Do you believe that they they cheat their way to winning Super Bowls? Okay, so here, here here's my opinion on this. They don't cheat their way to Super Bowls because they are, you know, above and beyond. They are one of the most talented teams in football. Um, just a real quick thing to throw in because you talk about if you're not a Patriots fan, you hate the Patriots. Uh, the Patriots are the second most hated uh, football franchise and the third most popular. The second most popular and the most hated are the Dallas Cowboys. Just to throw that out there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm not surprised. the most liked franchise no, in the NFL, do you venture a guess? The most liked franchise? Yeah. Uh, it's obviously not the Patriots or the Cowboys. So, Steelers. It's the Green Bay Packers. Packers. Yeah. Okay. I was a little surprised about okay. that. Okay. Um, I, I hope Andrew's uh, uh, Andrew's not feeding me false information when he uh, gave <laughs> me that. I'm, I'm going. I'm going on the honor system here. Um. So, all right. Spygate. The Jets were the ones who were caught do, uh, with Spygate first, and I agree. Here's the thing: if you you were it was against the Patriots, and then the Patriots did the same thing. So if you called somebody out for cheating and got them ejected from your stadium, and then you went to their stadium and did the exact same thing, what are you? you okay. You're a cheater. You <laughs> you. That's like me like ratting you out in school. Yeah. You know, oh my god, teacher Avi uh, Avi pushed me, and then five minutes later, I, the, the next day, I turn around in front of everybody and just push you. I know I'm doing something wrong. I told her you yeah. know, yesterday, you pushed right. me. So, yes, Spygate, they're guilty. Deflategate, I don't know what to believe anymore. But Tom Brady breaking his effing phone before we got you know, any evidence of what was on that phone. <sighs> right, I forgot man, about that. That really just shows me that there's something about that that makes you seem guilty. So, you know but, what? Guilty. But you know what? He can't, he, he's not cheating his way to greatness. Tom Brady is great. He's not cheating and his I way saw, to greatness. And I watched this, actually this video today. I, I mean, it's... When you watch this video, it's hard not to root for like Brady. How you know six oh, round pick? Try me. Okay, fine. You know six <laughs> round pick. You know you know a story about the combine. You know they said he was too too skinny. He yeah. ran like a six four forty. You know he overcame a lot to get he to did. where he is. You know you can't you can't deny he didn't. I, I don't believe he cheated his way to all these Super Bowls. He is great, and he has and Bill Belichick is a great coach. You can't deny that he's not a great coach. He's cheating his way. You know, they're all cheating on the way to winning. You know, this is one of the greatest franchises. He's a not, jerk for turning his back on the Jets. Right. This is one of the greatest franchises in the history of sports. You can't deny this. And they're going for their sixth Super Bowl. Uh, no, look, I, I can't deny it. I'm not going to deny I'm it. I'm not going to look at the cheat. I'm not look. The, the haters are really going to look at the cheating. Yeah, they cheated their way to winning these Super Bowls. I'm not going to look at it like that. I'm going to see. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll remember it. But I'm going to see, oh, Tom Brady. Th- this team, you know, every year they're there. You know, I can't believe they're. Che- I don't believe they're cheating their way every year to get to where they are. They're just better than everybody else. It's just how it is. Uh, look, I'm not saying that they're not doing enough to make it to where they are because they are. Let's face it, they are a talented team. They're, they're just better a talented than coach. They 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 have they're, they're a better team. And better I, team I made a, most- I made a case last week. Listen, I want to see. Maybe we disagree. I made a case. I want to see. I want to see the best in the biggest game. 
I no, want to see no. Tom Brady. I don't want to see Blake Bortles. But in all fairness, I mean, come on. If that play wasn't whistled dead against uh, Jacksonville. I know. And Jacksonville scored. But that play didn't get to me so much. That play didn't get to me so much. The holding got, got to me. The call, the, the pass interference call got to me. There were no penalties in that entire game. And all of a sudden, the Patriots are driving. And all of a sudden, there's well, a pass interference But call. you know what? It, but you look at it at that. But you don't look at, look at Blake Bortles, which I made a big case also last week. Look at the last four possessions when he had a chance to take put him out. And he didn't. Because no, he's, he's Blake Bortles. I agree. He was Blake Bortles that last four drives, and I knew that was going to happen. You knew he wasn't going to put him away. So, listen, they took advantage of their opportunity. They're going back to the Super Bowl. What, what more is there to say? <laughs> you know? I mean, but, you know, does it does it put a bl- an asterisk on their, on their name? Do you know, do we? I mean, Mickey Mantle had an asterisk on his name for years because he— It's not as big, big an asterisk as, like, you know, A-Rod. You know, Barry Bonds. You know, these guys. It's, it's different. It's different. You don't— you know why? Because these guys are these guys are great. These guys are great. Like A Rod, they make a case A Rod Bonds. These guys were great before they did the steroids. You know, agreed, agreed. But uh, yeah, they get calls. Uh, yeah, they do get calls. But listen, all the all the great teams, great players get the calls. I mean, you know, I talked about that last week. Also, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, they all get the calls. And they were going to get the calls. I know it's annoying and it's frustrating. I don't disagree, but you know, sometimes it just seems like, man, it just. But seems But I don't like believe that. I don't believe. Uh, you want to believe that? You believe that Roger no, no, Goodell tells the it. referees? I, I don't believe it, but man, sometimes it just. It's it feels like it's it, too hard. To, I believe. Okay, fine. That's fine to think, but listen, I. You see the greatness. You're never going to see this again. You're not going to see this kind of run. No, 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 no. And, and you'll I, never. You'll never. There'll never be another Tom Brady. Tom like, Brady's. You know, <laughs> I don't want to call him the greatest quarterback of all time. It's hard to compare. You know, we had this conversation. It's hard to compare, um, you know, guys like him in Montana because it was a completely different football game back then. Right. You know, and it was a much harder. It was a much harder league for a quarterback back then right. know, than it is right now. Right. Uh, so I'm always going to give Montana a little bit of an edge just for that situation. But yeah, you know what? It, to say that Tom Brady's not one, not if he's not top five, and maybe he's not top three, maybe he's not even top two, is crazy. To not even consider, to to not even hear somebody out to say that you know he's not at least the the greatest or com- at least in the top five. I saw an ESPN article. They're comparing him with Jordan, who's the greatest American athlete of all time, like greatest winner. I mean, they're putting. Him, I don't put him in Jordan's category, but he, Tom Brady, is up there. I he think is. he's the greatest quarterback of all time. What he's doing is unbelievable. I mean, you you see a guy like Wayne Gretzky. He's generally known as the greatest hockey player of all time. But it's also the system. We're going to get to a point where Brady is going to be that. Too. Right, but it's also the system. You know. It's the system. It's been working for 15 years. You need a great coach. You need that foundation. Right. And and it's working, and it's going to keep working until these two, until Belichick, the two Bs, Belichick and Brady, are, are gone. And that's how, how it is. It's not just the two of them. It's also, you know, uh, you know Gronkowski, too. As right. The, but as but as you flavor. take away Brady and Belichick, it's, it's, it's over. You, take away, you have to take away both of them. It's both of them. Listen, Brady goes out, fine. But he, until these guys are done, I believe that they're both going to be done at the same time. It's over. I think the the run is over. But until then, the Patriots are going to just keep on winning. Uh, look, I, I'm not denying that, you know. But I mean, you know, and we talked. We didn't really get like deep into this whole conversation. What did you make of that whole situation with you know there being that turmoil, Garoppolo getting traded, all, all right. that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, clearly Brady had something to do with it, or Kraft. Kraft and Brady are buddy buddy. Clearly, uh, Belichick didn't want any part of it. Um, do you believe it? I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. I definitely believe it because listen, he thought Brady Kraft didn't want. He thought Brady has three, four more years left in him. They wanted to, you know, they want Garoppolo to just sit there for another four years. Um, I mean, but what they gave up for him? I mean, that was that was ridiculous. I can't believe they got a only second round pick for him. Yeah, it, it's it's just it's just fish. I don't know. It's just weird. Uh, you know, Brady. He looks like he can play another three years. So oh, absolutely. So, but it, it's gonna listen. At the end of the day, we'll see what's gonna happen. They gave away their future, maybe. Garoppolo, but who knows? Because we don't know how much how long Brady's yeah, got I mean, left. Uh, you know, we're not going to sit here and think that Jimmy Garoppolo is uh, who's going to be a talented quarterback. Guy won his last five games uh, you know, on a Forty Nine ers team that couldn't win a game you know, before Garoppolo took took a football, uh, you know took uh, the position behind uh, behind center, and he took them to win five games in a row. You know, who's to say that you want? You know, if you're Jimmy Garoppolo, I'm going to waste four solid years of my time as being you know when I can be like a franchise quarterback. Sitting behind Tom Brady, I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, if I was Garoppolo, I would have been happy as hell that I got traded. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I think he's getting a little bonus for uh, making the Patriots making the Super Bowl. I don't even, I don't good know for how him. Yeah, good for him. Uh, you know, what, what, what more can you say? It's it, it was fishy. It was a little fishy, but Belichick. You, but what did I say at the time? 
if any team can overcome this that drama, you know how it was like, oh, Belichick's gone after this. The, the team's in turmoil. No, they're back in the Super Bowl. And yep. And then we'll talk about what I think is going to happen, what you think is going to happen in the Super Bowl. But they're back in it, and it seems like, okay, this is all done. Brady's, Brady's fine. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, we're going to talk about what you think, what I think when it comes to Super Bowl. What do you guys think? Give us a call. It's 609-910-0687. Um, you know, we want to know what you guys think about, you know, and, and again, Avi threw it out there. He threw out the, ga- the gamut before. We're going to run with this today. You can talk about anything you want on this show today. We're opening the doors to about just about anything. Because you know what? We're going to have to cu- open up this format a little bit more regardless because pretty soon we're not going to have football to talk about. <laughs> That's right. Man. That's right. So give us a call. Let us um, know what you think. Uh, you know what? See, you right ask, on cue. ask and you shall receive. What's up, caller? What's your name and where you're coming from? Uh, calling from? It's Phil from Springfield. How you doing, guys? What's Hello? going on? Uh, hello, you how, there? How are yep. you? How are you today? Okay, good, good. Albert, I missed you last week, but I have to say, Avi did a great job covering for you, though. I know he did. Thank you for saying that. And Avi yeah, is phenomenal. Okay. He's definitely phenomenal. He definitely doesn't need me, but I'm okay. glad to be back. I'll stop it. <laughs> All right, two two questions. Um, what's Gronkowski's status for Sunday? He's what's playing. the latest? Do you he's hear anything? Yeah, he's, they said that if he uh, if they played this week, he wouldn't, but next week he'll be fine. Oh, okay. All right, number two. If the Eagles win, what are they going to do to that city? Is it going to burn down? Uh, I think that the city is going to be burned down regardless of whether they win or they lose. Yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's not going to be a good situation either way. <laughs> okay. Uh, All it, right. I mean, let's face it. Yeah. You know, The Eagles fans, we, we were talking about before, they're, uh, they're a bit destructive. I have a feeling that that city is going to burn to the ground uh, at, by, <laughs> by, the, uh, by Monday morning. It's just Philly's just going to be ashes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Remember, they're also going for their first Super Bowl, so don't forget that. Okay. All right. My prediction, Eagles 17, Patriots 10. Uh, that's a, that's a, right. that's actually a good prediction. I know it's I like not going to happen, but that's my prediction. <laughs> Everybody's going okay. Eagles. You know, I, I like I like hearing that, and then I don't like hearing that because I feel like, you know, okay. uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thank Have a great you. show, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for your call. And uh, as okay. always, we appreciate it. Okay. Right, take care. Now, I was going to say about Gronkowski. I mean, either way, the guy plays with a concussion every week, probably. So it doesn't really matter. That guy's a <laughs> the guy is just a beast. But the guy is a concussion. The guy is a concussion. That's right. And yeah, that's not good news for the for the Eagles that he's no, playing. No, it's, it's never it's never good news for because he's Eagles. honestly the he's he's unreal. Uh, well, we got another call, Avi. Beautiful. So. What's up, caller? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Ari from Linden again. Am I allowed to call twice? No, Abs- absolutely. No. You can call three times. Hang up, want. Albert. Okay. No, never. Okay, great. All right, no, go no, ahead. no. I, go ahead. I, I think uh, there's a delay. I'm not actually sure what you're up to, but I just the last thing I heard because I'm listening on my phone. Last thing I heard was you're comparing Tom Brady to Michael Jordan. You might be way ahead at this point. A little bit, but you know, go who's for way? It, who's man. way? Uh, all right, go ahead. So, yeah. So I just wanted to comment on that, uh, and I've talked to Avi about this before. You know, you were comparing. Uh, you were saying Tom Brady and Joe Montana they played in different eras. And I've uh, my argument uh, to Avi was with Michael Jordan. People say Michael Jordan is the best. I think people think he's the best because he's the first one to have the big highlight reel. Um, You know, you can argue uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has even better statistics, has won just as many championships as MVPs and all that stuff. So when you compare Tom Brady to Michael Jordan, you're just comparing this era of sports. Uh, no, I I, well, you know, I, I are, don't disagree with that. You know, and, and yeah. Jordan, Jordan, my era was I grew yeah. up with Jordan. These are so. two of the greatest winners of all time. Oh yeah, yeah, greatness. Yeah. And these are two of the top. Michael Jordan's the oh, best. Okay. Tom Brady's the best. You know, these are two of the top five athletes, maybe, in uh, the history of sports. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Well, Michael Jordan's up there. Michael Jordan's the best. That's my opinion. We always have this argument, um, but yeah. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> No, I, I don't think he is because I think you can argue that Bill Russell had eleven championships. How can you how can you compare someone that had six championships? Well, if you compare you know, that, you or, know, Robert uh, Robert Ory had eight championships, so he's not up there. Right, right. But <laughs> then you have, like I said, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who also has six championships and more points than Michael Jordan. But uh, it's just it's just when you hear basketball, greatest basketball player of all time, I, I always say them. Who are you gonna when you hear you go right. to a random person in the street? They're gonna say Michael Jordan. They're gonna say it. Right, but random random person on the street doesn't know anything. <laughs> You know, well, you I mean, say who do you hate most, and they're going to say Donald Trump, but they don't know anything. I mean, it's, it's you know they don't know that Donald Trump is actually helping them. Let's I won't get any further in that. Right, well, but, that's not, uh, yeah, um, 
Wait, when we said you were not to talk about anything, I think politics might be the only thing that's off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, that's right. That could be a different discussion. Um, but, um, no, no. I, I, look, yeah, that, that was just that are, was my point in no, terms there, of. Yeah. And there are two schools of thought in this. You know, uh, I'm like, I, you know, I open the show by saying I'm a big wrestling fan. Everybody can, will sit back and be like, "You think of wrestling? Who's the first person you think of?" Hulk Hogan. Right. And Hulk Hogan's not absolutely by far. You know, the great is he the greatest wrestler of all time? No, he's not. But was he the biggest name in wrestling? Sure. Is Michael Jordan maybe the greatest basketball player of all time? Maybe he's not, but he's definitely the biggest name. But I think there's a bigger gap when you talk about biggest ba- best basketball player of all time between him and then Tom Brady and like Joe Mont- greatest quarterback. Because you can make a you can make a case that Joe Montana is the greatest of all time. There's but in, in terms of basketball, talking about winning and just overall greatness, Michael Jordan is basketball, in my opinion. I, I don't disagree. Well, with he that. is the. Yeah, I, I'm saying he's. He has this this insane uh, insane amount of shoes sold per minute, you know, <laughs> right. to uh, to inner cities. But yeah. other than that, you know. Yeah, well, we're not, we're gonna have to agree to disagree because Michael Jordan, you know, he's the greatest. I'm never actually. Never I think we're him. gonna have to all agree to agree with me. Fine, we're, we'll agree with you. Right, <laughs> we'll agree with you now, and then when okay. you get off the phone, I'm gonna fine. bash you. <laughs> all right, fine. Sounds good. All right, take care, buddy. Thanks again. All right. uh, thanks. All right, sure. I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's it's a hard argument to make. It is, yeah. and nobody's ever going to agree on who's the best because everybody has their own personal uh, right. Their own personal. Michael story. Jordan's the greatest basketball player of all time. No, I, never ever going to. I mean, look. In all honesty, if I had a, if you had to ask me, and I'd have subscribed to it. Yeah, absolutely. But it's also the fact that Michael Jordan, you know, came from my era too. Right. And I, I watched Michael Jordan play, so I, you know, that's why. Yeah, you know. But then you watch guys now like LeBron James, who's making a run at Jordan. I think just. And pure talent and pure talent alone. It's LeBron James of all time, just a pure talent. But you know, it it's you know, like I said, there's a bigger gap between you know, it's Montana and Brady, and then you got Michael Jordan. There's you know, we're just talking about great, great, great players and of all time. They're no, never gonna say who's the greatest. There's, yeah, there's no barometer for who's the greatest. There's right. nothing. I mean, you can look at statistics, but then you can also you know, you can also look at Talking cultural cultural impact. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's it's hard. And just to, winners yeah. alone. They're winners. These guys are the greatest winners of all time. You know, it's like naming like the the greatest band of all time. Music. You know, people will be like, you know, maybe the Beatles weren't the greatest band musically because all these other bands were more talented than them, but they didn't have the same cultural impact as the Beatles. You know, it's the same right. thing with sports. It's, right. it's a tough thing to think about. It's true. It's true. Um, all right, so you know we're talking about um, we're talking about the uh, talking about the big game. You want you want you just want to go for it, man. You want to give your prediction right now. Prediction right now. Listen, I have a feeling. I don't know. I don't know where you're going with this. I have a feeling where you might be going. I I, I feel like you want to pick the Eagles. Like you really want to. I I absolutely want to pick the Eagles. I, I, do. I don't know where you're gonna go. Listen, I'm. I have to listen. The Eagles had a great season. Yeah, I agreed. Obviously, we didn't think they were going to be here. We didn't think that they were going to do it without Wentz. But I, I cannot go against the Patriots. I can't. I can't. They're 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 the Patriots. You know, they lost to the Giants twice. But the way they're playing now, how can you go against them? The, the Eagles had a magical run. They're having a magical run. Nick Foles. Do you see Nick Foles having an unbelievable Super Bowl? I don't see it happening. Like I did last week, I don't see it happening. In all fairness, I didn't see him They having, need him to I play. I didn't see him having that big of an NFC Championship game, and look what happened. Listen, they need him to play. Listen, if he plays like he did last week, they're going to win. If he yeah. plays like they did last week. But the, the real shot for them to beat the Patriots is if they get to Brady. If they if their defense, they get to Brady. We know what happens when Brady gets rattled. They, then they have so a shot. Those footsteps. Then they have a shot. Yeah. They really have a shot. Their defense really has to come up huge in this game. But yeah. I'll tell you now, I'm going. I'm going Patriots. Uh, score. Yeah, give me a score. Uh, I'm gonna go 24, 24 17 Patriots. Okay. Brady's gonna win his sixth, and <laughs> and then we're gonna, you know, and then Philadelphia. I know the fans are gonna burn down the city, and you know. And it's going to be another Super Bowl for the Patriots. That's what I see. All right. <laughs> so Come on, Albert. Here's what I want to happen. <laughs> you want Brady to break his leg. I want, it, I want the Eagles to win 24-21. You I want, want them to, to win 24-21. I want it to be a super competitive Super Bowl. I want to see Nick Foles have the game of his life. Um, but I want to see him also struggle at points. Because I don't want him to be the next Jets quarterback. 
Oh, <laughs> is that what you think? Yeah, a hundred percent. I don't think so. That guy's gonna get paid. He's gonna get. A oh, he's gonna get paid, but somewhere. the Jets. Why not? They make mistakes all the time. Oh, oh man, that's what you think, huh? I have a feeling that coming out of the You know wherever he goes, he's just, it's not going to work out. Right. You I just know. Exactly. And I know that after this postseason, I, I have a feeling that we're either going to see Teddy Bridgewater, Case Keenum, or Nick Foles. He's just in a good form. system. He's got a good defense. He's got a good agreed. coach. Agreed. 100% agreed. Um, but, I, don't, I don't believe in Nick Foles. But win or lose, he's going to get paid. He's going to get paid. Case Keenum's going to get paid, too, if they, if they decide to let him go. And if right. not, Teddy Bridgewater is going to get a pretty good contract. Right. No, I agree. So so that's what you want. That's what you, that's what you want. Selfishly. Okay. That's what I want. Okay. The reality of the situation, God, I hate saying this. <laughs> it's a Super Bowl. It's the New England Patriots, and you would be stupid to bet against the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl when they're not playing Tom Coughlin and Eli Manning. I mean, right. let, let's be honest. You, you, you'd be stupid to do so. Right. Um, I don't want to see the Patriots win, and I don't want this, this outcome. But I think it's the exact score that I predicted. It's going to be 24-21, and it's going to be the Patriots. And they're going to win on a field goal with, like, three seconds left that the Eagles have this miraculous drive to take over the lead. Oh, I see what you mean. And it's, be, it's all going to come up aces for the Eagles. Foles is going to have the drive of his life. Everybody's going to be on a high, and Tom Brady, with, a, like, 35 seconds left, is going to march down the field like there's no defense on you the other it, right? side. Yeah, yeah and, and there's just going to be, you know, they're gonna, and it's going to be a big kick. It's going to be, like, a 52-yarder, and they're going to talk about how is Goskowski's leg still going to be big enough to make this kick, and it's going to split right through the uprights like the like you know like Goskowski's like you know kicked like you know like you know as you're as you're speaking I see it in my head I What's know I, I picture exactly what you're talking about it's crazy happening. isn't it I see Belichick you know raising his fist right you know, pouring the Gatorade over his head again Brady number six and he's gonna be raising the trophy he's screaming his let's go and uh it, it's hard it, yeah it's probably what's gonna. It's probably that's that's probably what's gonna happen. But I'm also, you know what? I hate the Eagles. I don't want to see them win the Super Bowl. I know you do. Honestly, if I had to pick, I'd rather see the Patriots win. You know. But you know, here's the thing, and this is actually um, so. This is a fun uh, little uh, like a fun little thing that actually somebody brought up to me. A lot of people were talking about how, like, you know, let's face it, New Yorkers don't want to, you know, don't want the Super Bowl. This is the last outcome that they want. This is actually the worst nightmare for a New York fan. It's. Two yeah. division teams playing oh, yeah. each other in the Super Bowl. This is the Jets Giants, and Giants, and Jets. worst yeah. nightmare. Right, and the, you know what? You, you you say New York. We always leave out the Bills. This is their worst nightmare too. It's any. It's yeah. It's anybody's worst nightmare. I think everybody hates the Eagles, <laughs> but they're probably top five on the most. But I don't want to see the Eagles win it. No, I want to see the Patriots. No, 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 no. I don't want to see the Eagles coming next year with Super Bowl champions. No way. I don't want to see. I don't want to see them win them. a Super Bowl. I want to see them stay ringless. All right. I want to see Chris Long win a Super Bowl. And it would be weird to see them win without Wentz. You know, how would Wentz feel? That'd be, that'd be strange. Yeah, you know, I mean, if Carson Wentz was there, I think that my prediction of being, it being 24-21 Eagles would have stayed, yeah. and I would have said Eagles. I don't think Carson Wentz. Do you think, listen, I know these guys are professional athletes. They're, they're you know, they're serious about it. Do you think that Wentz, I don't, he wants to, do you think he wants to see, he's a good guy. I think he, he wants to win the Super Bowl, but it would just be yeah. weird for them to win without him. Uh, I it think would that, take away from, you know, you know what I mean? I, I It'd be like, oh, okay, I guess he didn't really didn't need me. I think he wants him to win. I think that he's the competitor and he wanted right, to Right, I believe be that. There. But I feel like some quarterbacks would be like, yeah, like Aaron Rodgers, you know, if he was out. And what, Brett Hundley was leading them to the, into the playoffs? Yeah, and then when they win the, winning the Super Bowl. You think he would be a little sour taste in his mouth? Yeah, I mean, why not? Why wouldn't you be a little sour? You know, you're you're the, the leader of this team. You're the the alpha dog on the on the field. You know, you, you got to understand that at points, this is one of those situations where you want to be the top dog. You want to be the the franchise. You want to be the guy that everybody looks at and say, "This is the guy who won us the Super Bowl." Right. But but at the end of the day, man, you know Carson Wentz is a good guy, and you know he's, right. no, he I wants that, it yeah. for his team. But win or lose. The Eagles, listen, you got to admit, the Eagles had an amazing season, win or lose. They did. They're, they're playing with and, house money. They're playing with house money right now. And let's face it, they're doing it with Carson Wentz out. They're doing yep. it with Nick Foles. With, with maybe the MVP of the yeah. season. They're doing it with Nick Foles. Their defense is just unbelievable. Yeah. And, you know, you look at guys like, it's funny, you look at guys like Blunt and Chris Long, who were on the Patriots last year. Look at, the, look at that. Look at that. They're right back in the Super Bowl and they're playing the Patriots. You don't think they have motivation? No, I agree. I agree. It, there's, there's, you know, there's a lot. I, I do want to see Chris Long win the Super Bowl. Yeah, he, especially he, about yeah what it, he did this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's too giving his whole guy. salary to yeah, charity. It's amazing. It's amazing. You do want to see it for guys like that, but <laughs> no, I don't want to see the Eagles do it. 
I don't want to be. I don't want to come in next year and see the Eagles, you know, being cocky and they we're the champions and the Cowboys not making, you know, not winning a Super Bowl in God knows how long. Like I don't want to see it happen. Fair I just rather the Patriots keep winning. Yeah, but you know what? Look, just objectively, think about this from my point of view. The team from my division wins a Super Bowl like at least once every other year. Do you think I really want to see that? Put yourself it's in true. my shoes right now, Avi. It's true. I don't want to see the Patriots win another Super Bowl. I don't want to see Tom Brady start another you collection on his other hand. But you know what? At least your team went to the championship game two years in a row. My, when was the last time the Cowboys made the championship game? I haven't seen that. At least you got that. That but, you have. But the Cowboys won a Super Bowl <clears throat> during your lifetime. You You're right, but I wasn't a fan. I was, right. you, you may not have remembered, but at least you I remember, but I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan when I was like seven years old. I, I didn't become a fan until later on, but... No, but your team made the championship. I, I just want to see that at least. I, I didn't get the sh- chance to be one game away from the Super Bowl. I never got to see that. You got you you got to see that twice, two years in a row. Your team had a chance to go to the Super Bowl. And if I remember, I, what, what was the score of those games? You remember? Were they what was it close? They were close. They were close. They were yeah, close. You were close. Uh, the, Steel- the Steelers they didn't <clears throat> lose by much, and the Col- but at least you know going into the season that the Patriots are going to win. You know the division. At least you know that. It's not a surprise. But I don't want to know that. But how great was it beating them, Patriots, in the playoffs that year? How that was, that was my Super Bowl. That was your Super that Bowl. That was my Super Bowl. It probably was. That that was the biggest moment in Jets in, in Jets franchise history during my during my uh, during my time of being a fan. That yeah. was it. No, it's yeah. So so you want you want to see the Eagles win, but you, you can't. You got you got to think with your head here, not with your heart. I, I want to see the Eagles win. Um, I do. But if I had if if you told me I had to put, you know, somebody was going to give me ten billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and they said you can keep that ten million dollars if you if you guess the winner of the Super Bowl right. I'm gonna put that money on the Patriots. Yeah, you, you have to. Sometimes sometimes people go with their heart. Just I, they're good the Eagles, but they have to get to Brady. I just don't see it happening. It just feels like listen after their all the adversity defense, this year. I think their defense is good enough to to make it a, a difference. Game. Yeah, I think they'll. Yeah, I, I, you're right. I think they'll keep it a game. I I, I don't know. I, I just I can't I can't see another I can't watch another Super Bowl. And, you know, the thing is that I, I don't really watch Super Bowl at home. I'm always out. I can't wa- be at somebody else's house where I know they're going to be like, no, we're going to watch a trophy, you know, get, you know give, giving them a trophy. We're going to watch Tom Brady and Bill Belichick's speech. Man, I can't do it. I can't, I can't sit through that again. After that comeback last year in the Super Bowl, you can't bet against them. Ever. Ever again. No. No, you can't. <laughs> because I was counting them out. Uh, you know, I mean. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, now it's a moot point. I the mean, game was it, over, it, man. It, it, it is what it is. I was at, at, at my ex-wife's house, and her mom and her her mom's boyfriend and her are, are all diehard Patriots fans. And throughout the entire first quarter, I had the biggest smile on my face. And uh, my ex's mom's boyfriend said, Albert, they're not out of it yet. And I laughed. I said, yeah, but you, you know what? You're right because it's the Patriots. I said, but come on. And yeah. look what happened. Ruined my entire life. So if anybody wants to call in for any more predictions yeah yeah definitely give us a call it's 609-910-0687 call in guys let us know what you guys think so besides okay for the super bowl what what do you, how do you think this season went as a whole this what was, are you what are you gonna remember from this season what i'm gonna remember from this season is so many top players getting hurt yeah you know i mean and I, i'm gonna remember i'm really what i'm gonna remember is the minnesota vikings I'm yeah. going to remember their underdog story. I remember Case Keenum get, almost getting them there. I remember that Stephon Diggs catch. I'm going to remember Paul Allen's call <laughs> for that catch, man. I'm going to remember it. it that was, it was a great call. It, you know, I mean, that's what I'm going to remember about this season, about about the, the thing that, that, that uh, never should have been, the Eagles making it to the right. Super Bowl and ruining – the you know the chance of seeing a team play in their own stadium in the Super Bowl. <sighs> I'm gonna remember that. I, I really am. I'm gonna remember um, Zeke Elliott being suspended six games. Yeah, God I ruined know, our I season. Know. I'm gonna remember Josh McCown being a successful quarterback in New York. Yeah, and oh, Robbie Anderson having a great year, but then uh, then getting arrested <laughs> and probably not having a career anymore. Oh gosh, is he is he like is he what did he, what did he do exactly? Uh, so I missed uh, it. okay, so apparently um, he, he was arrested for speeding, and apparently he said a. <laughs> Very degrading thing about a uh, police officer's wife about doing something to her that is just uh, that it's, it's just not nice and not cold. Oh for her. man! Um, how do you, I, I don't understand how a promising he had, you know he had so he had promise the guy. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, Robbie Anderson and uh, I'm just gonna remember the cowboy oh, Zeke Elliott. Oh, just a waste, just a ruin, just ruined the year for us. Really, it really did, and Dak never got going. Yeah, and then it made me miss Romo. You know, Romo having a great year broadcasting. 
<laughs> I'm going to remember Tony Romo from this year. Tony Romo is one by far my favorite announcer. It does an NFL game. Bar yeah. none. Hands down. I'd most, rather see him on the, on the, the field. Most, no, you know what? I, 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 don't, I don't even care. I'd rather, I want to hear him. I want to hear him every week. I still want the Jets to go after him in the offseason. Oh, please, God. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm going to miss him. What else? What, what else are we going to remember from this year? Any, uh, man? Yeah, it's a lot of. Yeah, the injuries really took a you know, took a toll on this season. You know, who who was it? So Desha- Carson Wentz, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson, uh, Aaron Rodgers, yeah, um, Carson Palmer, yeah. Uh, and we're Who's just retiring. Na- and we're just and, and, and right now Derek Carr got hurt for a little bit. Right. And right now we're just naming quarterbacks. Josh McCown went out. Right. Uh, not that he's a major quarterback, but still, I mean, we're naming just quarterbacks who didn't yep. start because of injury. You know, the, these are. I mean, we named. Oh, that's a lot of quarterbacks. Yeah, it's a lot. And we might be missing some. Right, but Sam Bradford. Yeah, he was supposed. To be, he was, <laughs> but I'm saying he was supposed to be the starter. He was supposed right. to be the starter for the right. Vikings. Right, and he went down. And Case Keenum had to step up. Yeah, and he you did. know, I mean, th- these are major, major players who got hurt this mm-hmm. season. Um, you know. So let me ask you this. Let's say no injuries, no big injuries. All the guys you just said were healthy. What are we looking at now in the Super? Are we looking at the same Super Bowl? Yes, we are. I think so, and I think the really? Eagles are heavily favored. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, same I really Super do. Bowl. I, I exactly the same. I don't. I don't think the Steelers hold up. I don't think. I don't know if the Jaguars maybe would have made the playoffs. You think the Eagles? Yeah, they would have dominated like they have. I don't much. know if they would have dominated the Vikings. Here's the thing: I don't think the Vikings would have even been in that position with Sam Bradford. Mm-hmm. I think Case Keenum brought that out of them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean, it, it would have been it would have been there would have been a lot of differences. Well, let's be honest: it was the two best teams all year in the both conferences. Yeah, you can make a case of the Vikings, but and, you these know, two you, teams should be there. You brought this up a couple weeks ago. This is the first time in a long time that we have the uh, the opportunity to see the two best teams in each division. In, in, in it just, ha- yeah. It, yeah, just go at it in the Super Bowl. This doesn't happen all the time. There's always an upset. That first seed always winds up losing somewhere to, uh, down the line to some hot shot number six seed. Yeah. And it didn't happen this year. We got the real deal. We're, right. We're watching the two best teams in football. Maybe not their best roster, but the two best teams in football. That's why I also think the Patriots, because first of all, you have Tom Brady, but Nick Foles. When was the last time you saw some, no, some backup no name win the Super Bowl? It's been a while. Who is it? Trent Dilfer? Who's the last quarterback to do it? I uh, probably big, yeah. not big not guy no not a quarterback named Brady or Big Ben or Rodgers or Peyton Manning or who was it? Uh, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. Fine. That, but, was, but he, but, that was the one. But he wasn't that a backup. Was the one. Right. But I'm, wasn't saying, a back, was the, I'm talking about like a backup. Uh, like, uh, like, a, like a real like a, a, a average to below average. No, no. Trent Dilfer was the, was the last one. Right. Hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and Brad Johnson. Right. Yeah. For the Buccaneers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that, that and that's that was those were two big defenses winning Super Bowls. Right. Um it's it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to to see a, to, to predict a guy like Nick Foles going out and winning a Super Bowl. It really is. Like I can't I can't do it. No. I want to cuz I want to see it but I don't see it happening. So what what do you think happens if the let's say the Eagles win the Super Bowl? What happens to the Patriots? You think it's there's going to be a little shake up? Or you think it's going to be I don't know. Was there a shakeup when they lost to the Giants? No. Let, let's go say back and it's be business as usual next year, and they're going to dominate. Let's say they, they get blown out in this game. Let's say they really just like get outplayed like crazy. You think it's going to be next year, B- Belichick, Brady? They're back? 100%. Everybody's back. Yeah. Okay, this isn't going to take a huge toll on them. Uh, I'm thinking that you know they'll release the guys that they would have released regardless, and they would, they'll re-sign the guys that they want to re-sign, and they'll, you know, they'll do what they always do. But this is what they do, man. They're, this is like a home for them, the Super Bowl. They know it what is. they're doing. All the pressure's on the Eagles. They don't have pressure, the Patriots. No. They have no pressure. They've no, been there the so many freaking times. <laughs> Brady's been there. It's the eighth Super Bowl. Yeah, and, you know. He's it, been there for half of his career in the Super Bowl. Disgusting. <laughs> think it's about that. Disgusting to even think. Um, look, the guy is super successful, and there's no way you can debate it. You know, I mean, he's Tom Brady, and Tom Brady is going to go down. It's like we talked about before with that. You know, we talked about you know them being cheaters. Regardless of what's going to happen, in 10 years, we're going to get an all-telling, comprehensive story about the New England Patriots, and in that, they're going to talk about Tom Brady being the greatest quarterback of all time, yep. Bill Belichick being the greatest coach of all time, Rob Gronkowski being the greatest tight end of all time. All these guys coming together after so much controversy, after Aaron Rodgers murdering people. Uh, I'm sorry, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Hernandez murdering people. <laughs> yes, after, yes. Uh, you know, after you know, And Robert the, Kraft, and, and, the greatest and, owners of all Robert, time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Robert Kraft. Uh, you know, and 
after you know Deflate Gate and Spy Gate and Ref Gate and you know this gate and that gate. No matter what, they always they're the Yankees of there. football. They are. They're the most they're dominant the evil empire. They are. They're the most dominant franchise in in in, in the NFL right now. I mean, at least the past twenty years. And the, yeah, they're gonna keep winning until until these two are gone. Yeah, They'll stay forever. So, so we both agree. We think the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl again. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> again. Yeah. Uh. Is, is that not dejecting a little bit, though? Yeah, like, but, the, even, like, like, all right. So you're not a Patriots hater, but is that not dejecting a little bit that we're getting? Uh, it is, but like I said, I'd rather see them than the Jaguars in the Super Bowl. That's just me. I mean, I, I don't disagree. I don't di- and actually, no, I, I, I disagree with you wholeheartedly. I <laughs> or disagree. the Titans or the, you know. Wholeheartedly, I disagree. I really felt the Steelers were. I, I, listen, I, really I thought felt so the too. Steelers. I thought, I thought we had a, we were gonna have. A I was really shocked. Oh wait, we got a, we had a phone call. I thought we were gonna have a Steelers uh, Vikings. Super All right, Bowl. Um, I'm using the wrong mouse, man. I'm sorry. Let's I'm go, caller. Mess. Give us a good call in the show. Hey, caller, what's up? What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, this is Jacob from Elizabeth. How you doing? How's everything going, Jacob? What's up, man? Fabulous, fabulous. How about you guys? Good, doing great, man. Doing great. Super Bowls this Sunday. It's you know we're on the hype train. Yes, I hear that. Yeah, as a as a New York fan, it's like we're we're living in this har- horrible twilight zone right now. You know, it, you don't know which team team to root for. It's just oh, it's, horrible. It's awful. <laughs> this is this is the <laughs> worst <laughs> outcome for a New York fan ever. You want the you want Philly to win, but you yeah, it's just it's impossible. I don't. You, I don't. You, you, you don't. I don't you want do, Philly to win. You don't. Right. <laughs> well, what do you think, Jake? Come on. What's your prediction? The honest opinion. What do you think is going to happen this week? Well, world? well, as a professional, with your head, not I your heart. That, <laughs> my as 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 a professional i the the more professional team is the patriots so you got to go with the patriots you know philly's you know how many times have they been there in the last 10 years and how many times has uh the patriots been there in the last 10 years and you know look who they have on their you know look at their star quarterback so i i don't want to go with the patriots but i kind of have to go with the patriots i hope they the lose in way. a way but pick. in a way i don't want to see philly so <laughs> Once again, it's like Jacob, who, who's, Twilight Zone. Let me ask you a question. Who's your team? Who's your football team? I like, I, I like the Giants. I like the Jets. I'm a New York team. All right, fair enough. So, so the, this is actually the worst case scenario for somebody who's not, you know, who, <laughs> who likes both teams. This is awful. Yeah. Um, you see, now, I, I think that this is, you know, for me and Avi, where we differ is that Avi is a diehard Cowboys fan, which would be, which is akin to being a Giants fan because they're in the same division as the Eagles. And you know, I'm being a giant diehard Jets fan. I hate the Patriots and everything they are and whatever they stand for and everything that they've ever done in the history of sports. So that's where me and Avi do differ. Um, I, I mean, look, I'm with you though. I don't want to see the Eagles win, but I'd rather see them win than see the Patriots win. Right. Right. Yeah. It's it's a tough decision. I mean, whatever. I guess I, I'm rooting for a good game. Maybe they'll go into yep. uh, overtime like 30 times until they collapse, and then we won't have to see a winner. Who knows? <laughs> that would be the best ending ever. That would be. <laughs> that would be a great ending. Best outcome ever. But you, I agree. I think it's going to be a competitive game for it sure. Will be. It will It'll be. be competitive. I'll I hope you. so, but I, I think the professionals are the, are the Patriots. I think they're more professional than, you know, they've been there more often, so I think that they're – you know they have the definitely the they have a better advantage than the Eagles. So we'll, we'll see what happens. You never know. Smart man. <laughs> Look, I can't tell you you're wrong because I said the same thing. I just I I, I, just, I think that we both just hope that we're not right. <laughs> well, right, kind right, of. Right. <laughs> oh, not you. Yeah, not you, Avi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Dallas Cowboys. I, I, you know, we said it in the beginning of the year. They're always like, you know, yeah, yeah. Always, always the same business with them. You know, I just. You know, with Tony, and then you know now this quarterback. They got to break through it's eventually. O- o- always excuses, you know. I don't. I don't yeah, know. no, no excuses for me. No excuses. <laughs> well, yeah, Zeke Elliott, fine, but yeah, yeah. I mean that 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 could have torched the Dallas season, but you know what? We'll see what happens now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there's and, always uh, there's yeah, always and, and the like like you said, you know, in ten years from now, just like you know the Yankees in the in the nineties. You know, everybody looks back at the Yankees in the nineties, like amazing team, undefeated, like the best. Like that's when I grew up. It was amazing to watch them. You know, who knows if half the team was juicing also and doing illegal stuff, but nobody really talks about that. About that, they talk about the amazing season they had, the amazing comebacks they had, the amazing, you know, players that they had. Yeah, you know, they the, don't really. And so the, I think the same thing is going to happen. Yeah. You know, five, ten years down the road with the E. 
with the Patriots, nobody's going to be coming back and say, oh, this happened with them, they did this, they did that. It's not going to be about that. You know, that, that stuff kind of, like, floats away, and then they really see, you know, so. I, I completely agree. I couldn't have put it any better. All right. Very good, guys. Have a good night. We'll see ya. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for the call, man. We appreciate it. All right. Take care. I mean, it's a fair assessment, right? Yeah, it absolutely. really is. This is one of those situations where you know we we're in a you know. W- I can't make the hero pick. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I, you know what? I try to. As we got on with the show, I just see more and more. I don't see anywhere. I don't see the pay how the Eagles are winning this game. I, I agree. <laughs> I, I agree. And I don't want to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you've seen the Eagles play a lot more than I have. And granted, you saw him them play last week. Yeah. W- with with a different quarterback, you saw them play live. Yeah. Um, but you, you know, you saw them play. For if they were playing in Philly, yeah, I'll give the Eagles the Super Bowl because that that crowd was electric. But you know, on neutral field, <laughs> no. On on a neutral field, let's just say on the Patriots it's, field because it's, it's their field. It's a, it's a Patriots home game. It is because it's their yeah they've been there so many times. Right, and everybody you know it, it, you either hate the Patriots guts or you want to see the Patriots win. It's yeah. it, There's no middle ground. Absolutely, nobody does. There's nobody who's just like I, I don't care or doesn't have an opinion. They have to just pressure Brady the whole game. They really Absolutely. do. Absolutely, they really do. They got to kill Tom Brady. They all they got to go all out. You know, and you know this is but by the same point, think about how bad James Harrison's going to want to have a big game this. <laughs> Oh week. my gosh! Oh yeah, watch him have like three sacks in this game and win MVP or something. That's what I'm saying. I, I feel like Nick Foles has got to <laughs> really watch, put it, he's keep his head on a swivel. Right. That's another reason why they're going to win because he, he went to the Patriots and yeah, um, sticking in the Steelers' face. Yeah, made the right move, huh? <laughs> he did. He want to win? Go to the Patriots. I mean, they're all Revis that can't can't blame anybody, right? Right. That's true. All right. So we got just a, you know a couple of minutes left. We're, you know, final thoughts. What do you think? You know, I mean, what do you, what do we think? What what actually, real quick, what are you doing for the Super Bowl? What are your plans? Do you have plans? Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, Jacob, you know, we're he's having we're having a little guys party. Nice. You know, be nice in the community. Yeah. Food, football. Is it, can you ask for more? No. <laughs> it, it, there's if there's food, there's <coughs> beer, and there's football. Man, it, it, there's not. Really how about much. you? Um, you know, my uh, my girlfriend got off of work. Um, on Sunday, so nice. I'm super excited that uh, I'm gonna get to spend Super Bowl Sunday with her. Nice. Um, it looks like one of my friends, uh, one of the, one of my two coworkers, look like they're gonna do something. So same thing, a bunch of brews, a bunch of. We'll, know, we'll bunch be texting throughout the game. Of course we will. Of course yeah. we will. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And yeah. uh, you know, it, we had Avi and I had a minor heart attack earlier this week. Uh, we had a call saying a text. I'm sorry, an email saying that we weren't going to be able to do our show the day after the Super Bowl, and then we got one later on and said, hey, guys, don't worry about it. We're good. You guys yeah. can use it. So um, thank God because I, I really would want – I can't wait to come on here on Monday and you know be probably still slightly hungover from the night before. <laughs> and uh, Talk about another Patriot Super Bowl. Uh, well, vu. another Patriot Super Bowl, absolutely, but hopefully not another Patriot Super Bowl. I don't want to talk about the Eagles winning the Super Bowl, honestly. I'm, that's another reason. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, you know what, Avi? You chose this job, yeah. so you're going to have to come out here and do it. Right. I'm not going to – believe me, just as much as you don't want to do that, I don't want to talk about the Patriots winning. So, so one of the yeah. two of us is going to be miserable right. next week at, nine, at 9.05 <laughs> when we come here live with, on the opening whistle radio that's true. show. But uh, we're here to comfort each other. We are, we are, and yeah. uh, you know, luckily for me, Avi is a good friend, and he understands where I'm coming from, and I'm a good friend. I understand where Avi's yep. coming from. Both of us don't want, you know, the other other to happen. But you know what? There's only there's only one of, at one outcome. That's yeah. it. There's only be one outcome. It's going to be one of those two. Right. So you know, uh, it's either I'm going to you know like. But at the end of the day, sleep yeah. At the end of the day, we're here. We have each other. That's right. We always have sports. That's right. You know, we're, you know, good life. It's a good life. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. um you know, hey, look, in all, in all fairness, good luck to the Eagles and the Patriots no, this no, week. No, 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 good luck to the Eagles. No, to the both teams. <laughs> no. Be objective. All right, fine. Good no, luck to no, both teams this no. week. I hope we ha- – <laughs> at the very least, good luck enough to say that we're going to have a really fun, yeah. entertaining Super Bowl Sunday this Hopefully week. Hopefully a great finish. That's what you always want to see. You want yeah. that heart racing, you know, at the end of the game. People standing up, yep. cheering. Yeah. That's yeah. what you want to see. 100%. That's what I want. Yeah, no blowouts. Yeah, no, definitely no blowouts. Hundred percent. I want to hopefully an see ending. That. Maybe over. Hopefully overtime. Like I would year. love to see overtime. I would love, love to see, see overtime, overtime. in Super Bowl. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So that's it for us today. This has been the Opening Whistle Podcast. If you guys wanted to uh, check out anything that we've done or any of our previous shows, it's uh, Facebook dot com slash the Slam Sessions Podcast Network. You can link up to everything that Avi and I have done on there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, f- uh, so I'm Albert Albanese. I'm Avi Schiffman. And we will see you guys next week where we will talk about the winner 
of this year's Super Bowl. Nothing is more exciting in sports. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening to the Opening Whistle Radio Show on MetsonRadio.com. For more information, go to Facebook.com slash The Slam Sessions Podcast Network. We'll see you next week.